G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines, and it's been a while since we've done a test with a boat with a Honda on the back, but there's some new product from Honda. I've got Mark Suttle, aka Hightower here from Honda, and Dave O'Neill from Bribey Marine, uh, with a really interesting boat. It's a, uh, it's a repower, uh, but it takes advantage of the new 250 horsepower Honda. And uh, Mark, tell us a few of the key points about this new Honda in the marketplace. Ah, uh, Steve, this is our new uh, V6 250 horsepower. It's uh, 3.6 litre. It's also dry by wire, you can also get it in cable as well. And yeah, it's our new motor on the market. Now, Honda have only ever made four-stroke motors, um, yeah. so they obviously display really good fuel uh, economy characteristics. What's this thing like to drive, taking into account we're going to put this on the water soon? Ah, it's great, it's very smooth, a lot more smooth than when it had the uh, fuel injected two-stroke on it. So yeah, just good, quiet, responsive motor. Now it's a great opportunity to test this today because Dave, this is a, a motor that's uh, it's a repower. Um, you had a, uh, a two-stroke fuel injected motor on it before um, and you've seen the difference between the old and the new motor. Tell us about the old motor and why the repower. Yeah Steve, we had this boat come into stock um, just prior to Christmas and thought it was a good opportunity to do the repower. Um, the 225 that was on there was an EFI two-stroke so you had all the noise, had a lot of power, had a lot of get up and go, but it also used a lot of fuel. So we thought we'll do the comparison and just see where we end up with the stats. So we're all interested to see just how much we're going to save. So Yeah, and that's the thing, you're putting 25 horsepower more on the back of the boat, but we're expecting much better fuel economy and better yeah. performance. Yeah, that's correct, Steve. So. so I think the whole idea is anyone that, that has a, a boat, whether it's a two or a four stroke, and you've got a 10 to 15 year old engine on it, Upgrading to a new outboard is really going to give you the, the, the fuel savings, the amenity and just the safety on the water I think you need. Correct, yep. You also with a Honda you get a seven year warranty. Yeah. Good. So for peace of mind, um, think about a repower. If you're at Bribey Island, come and see Dave and the team at Bribey Marine for any Honda repower. But we're going to put this boat on the water now and compare some of the old fuel statistics with the new. So before we catch up with Dave to talk about some of the fuel stats, Mark, let's talk about some of the technology which is inside the motor, which we can't actually you know, hear and feel. What's inside this unit? Uh, all our fuel injected motors, Steve, from 40 horsepower up to 250 have a, a thing with Honda's called blast. So it advances the ignition timing. So when you accelerate flat out off the market, basically gets two stroke light performance out of the hole. And I think that's what we've seen in the last 10 years. Four strokes have gone from efficient and quiet and clean but sluggish to things that basically rival the two-stroke when it comes to driving, don't they? Yeah, that's right. The new four-strokes now accelerate like the old two-strokes did and they're also yeah, very good on fuel and very quiet. Well, the real test of what we're doing today is the fuel economy. Let's go and talk to Dave about what his figures are. <laughs> Apart from how quiet this motor is and it's running right now, Immediately obvious to me is the improvement in fuel efficiency. Just run us through how we're doing this test apples for apples. You're using the same prop and everything from the last motor. Yeah, that's correct, Steve. We thought, we just so no one was out there would think that it was a bias test or anything, so we've used the same diameter, four blade, stainless with a 17 pitch prop. Um, if anything, at the moment, we've got the boat with a lot more load on it than what we did in the, in the previous test. And um, yeah, it's surpassed all our expectations. Really, it's well. Let's go through the numbers. The old the old motor was delivering 52 kilometres an hour at 4,000 rpm using 50 litres an hour, and that's 1.04 kilometres per litre of fuel, which you know over 200 horsepower. Lots of boats run around those efficiencies, but this new Honda. We were sitting one kilometre an hour slower at 49 kilometres an hour, and that's probably through the excess weight on the boat, at 4,000 RPM, only using 32 litres per hour. So that's 1.53 kilometres per litre. So that's basically 50% extra distance per litre burned. And is that the sort of savings you're expecting? Well, yeah, I think this is going to be our baseline for the savings in actual fact. By the time I play around with the prop, and I think this would be more than capable with a 19 pitch prop on it, which could even get that down further. So. And I think we're probably running a little bit more weight than we would normally run. We've got five, you probably can't yeah. see it, we've got five on board here today yeah. and it's running a little bit of weight but still that 250 horsepower has got no problems pushing it out of the water. No, that's right. The outer hull performance is amazing, you know, and that, that is one of the advantages with that four blade prop that we do have on it. 
Let's talk about some of the amenity, the uh, the drive-by wire that Honda's now got. Um, uh, very smooth, isn't it? And it's it's there's none of the resistance you get with cables. No, that's right, Steve. And um, over Christmas, we actually used it in the um, Christmas Canal Parade, and the throttle control that you have is amazing. You can you can bring it up 50 rpm increments with just your thumb and finger type thing. So there's no more of this clunking in and out of gear. It's just silky smooth. Now this repower and this, this job, it's all hooked in with the Garmin ecosystem of electronics. It takes that NEMA feed from the motor, so you've got all of that engine data sitting right in front of you. That's pretty handy, isn't it? Oh yeah, look, the Garmin GPS map, we've got a 16 inch GPS map in this, and they're absolutely beautiful piece of equipment, you know, so we've teamed that up with a one kilowatt transducer on the boat, and at 50 kilometres an hour, and it's, in a, it's still in a bit of a chop, you, it just reads the bottom beautifully. Now this is a repower from your dealership, is it? It seems like you're sort of hooking it up to be your boat, or is it for sale? <laughs> well, I didn't want to say that, Steve, in case my wife was watching, but uh, uh, it, is, it will be for sale, the boat, eventually, but it was just more to showcase what the Honda and the Garmin, and the cruise craft needs no introduction. I mean, the 685, this is an earlier one, this is one of the first ones they made. It was only rated to a 250 and um, the hull speaks for itself there, yeah, legendary look, hull. The cruise crafts, they really hold their value and I guarantee every cruise craft on the market is going to outlast its first motor, isn't oh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing quite a few repowers on them, um, mainly the 150s and those sorts of things, but to get the 685 and put a 250 on it, we thought this was a good opportunity, so, you know, it's proved itself right. Yeah, look, it's a great looking motor. It makes absolutely bugger all noise and it's an absolute pleasure to drive. So, Dave, thanks for bringing us out today, no mate, problem. and showing us the new Honda, the new drive-by wire that uses bugger all fuel. Yeah.